Hey there, my name is Moella. In this tutorial, I would like to speak about WebP images. And actually, I want to answer three main questions. What is WebP image? And how to convert my image to WebP image, WebP format? And how to load them in before Android and before J? The first question, what is WebP exactly? WebP is an image file format from Google that is created by Google. It can provide better compression than either JPEG and PNG, normally from 50% less than original file and sometimes up to 95% or even more. And the other point, that is only available in Android 4.3 or higher. Your project must declare a mean SDK of 18 or higher in manifest. How can I convert my pictures to WebP format? There are some tools, but I would like to work with this website, ezgif.com. This is the website which I told you. We need to click on this one, WebP. And then because my original file is JPEG, I need to click on this one. And here is my file. I can drag it onto this button. And I need to click on upload button. And you can see the percentage here, but that was very fast. This is my original file. And this is a file size, 174 kilobyte. Let's convert that to WebP takes a while and then you see 72 clue byte, almost 60% less than original file. So let's save that and actually download that. Here is a file and here is my project. Let me drag it onto file tab like this. This is my file, but as you see, the file name is very long. so. Let me make it shorter like this. Okay. Now I need to go to main layout. I need to add image view inside that layout and I need to load this file inside that one. By the way, let's look at the topic in the form of before X. Here is the library, but here, as you see, it says Android natively supports this format. So you don't need anything else. You can use the regular load bitmap. We can add one image view here. And let's make it bigger and wider. And this button. I think that's good enough. Let's generate click event for this button and uh, this image view itself. This is a definition and I want to load this file inside this image view. I can use normal code, normal load bitmap. Image view dot set background image. It's better to use this one, XUI. XUI load bitmap, it needs directory and the file name. The directory of this file is file assets, so file directory assets, and the file name is one.webp. Very good. This is the only thing that we need to load a WebP format in Android. Okay, it loads the file. By the way, as I told you before, let's change something in manifest. And as you see, the mean SDK is five. Let's change that to 18. Don't worry about the versions less than this one. It's almost less than 1% of the devices. We are almost done with before A. Now let's go to before J. If you want to use this library in B4J, 
In these extra efforts, you need to download this library and this one, and then you can add that to your project inside library folder. I did that already. And then you can use this code to load WebP format in image view. So let's do that. We need to add one image view to our layout. Let's make it bigger. We need the definition of this image view. Be sure that your library WebP is activated and then we can define one variable in WebP1 as WebP. And then we need to initialize that. And then image view dot set bitmap. It needs a bitmap variable, but instead we can use this variable webp.load webp. And for that one, we need data variable. We can use file.readbyte. It needs the directory and the file name, which is here. So I type file.directory assets and the name of the file, which is one.webp. And then I can close the parentheses. Very good. Let's test the application. As you see, it works, but you see an error message here. But just ignore that. That is just for the first time that you load the image file. But for the other times, you don't see this message. The other point about using WebP in B4J is that if you want to use built-in packager, you need to add this line to the top part of the activity. Otherwise, you will face error. Let's copy that. So we need to add that here. We can paste it here. And then we can use standalone packager. That is done. Let's go to the folder. This is my standalone application. And as you see, this works. But if you don't add this line here, by clicking on that file, it will be closed. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And please do not forget to subscribe in my channel. And if you like my tutorial, please hit thumb button.